For some product animations, you may want to deform parts to show labels or packaging films. Deforming parts within SOLIDWORKS Visualize, like you can in SOLIDWORKS within Context Animations, is not possible due to not being able to rebuild and recalculate the shape of the geometry every frame. Traditionally, all you could do to animate a deformation is to change the scale of the part, such as with this tape measure growing in size. However, since Visualize 2021, we have been able to create displacement maps. These go further than bump maps that simply change the way the light interacts with the surface, as displacement maps actually move the surface of the object and can therefore get more realistic shadows. Displacement maps are normally used to create things like tread plates or brick walls if you are looking from a narrow angle. They can mean you don't waste time modelling something you are not going to machine. They can also be used for quick concept design for evaluations such as with this whiskey bottle, where modelling time can be saved by simply dragging a displacement map onto the surface to ideate on a design. They work by using grayscale images to tell the software how much to offset the model surface as well as the displacement density of the part that specifies maximum length of the edge of a sub-triangle. The white areas will deform up by the value specified in the depth, while the black areas will go down. The higher the displacement density, the smaller the triangles and the better the quality. In SOLIDWORKS Visualize, most things with values can be animated and therefore we can also animate displacement maps. First of all, apply the map as bump and apply the map as colour as well to make it easier to see what is going on. Use the bump map settings to turn off the repeat and to place the bump map slightly off the geometry. Then switch to displacement maps and ensure your displacement density is set within the texture mapping tab. Create a keyframe of the appearance. Move to a different time and shift the map so it moves over the surface, therefore deforming it. Play the animation to see your curling animation. If you want to flip deform, you can also simply use the invert option of the map, such as with this bottle label. There are some limitations, as you can only use surfaces rather than solids for this kind of animation, and it does require some time to set up correctly, but it can create some very advanced looking animations that normally wouldn't be possible.